I'm Amy, and today I'm going to show you a new calibration method available in the LabChart PV Loop module for those of you with an echocardiogram. LabChart already offers supporting workflows to help with PV Loop conductance calibration, but with this update, you can now choose to use known volume values from your echocardiogram to calibrate the volume channel in PV Loop as well. This means that fewer steps are needed to calibrate the volume channel, and it allows you to make use of your echocardiogram unit in PV Loop analysis. Your echocardiogram software will provide a combination of end systolic, end diastolic, and stroke volume values, and these can be used to calibrate volume through a new workflow in PV Loop. To calibrate the volume channel using these values, go to Setup PV Loop and select Echo Volume Fit from the workflow dropdown. This opens up a new and much shorter workflow. Calibrate the pressure channel as normal, and then open the volume calibration step. You can sample some calibration data directly from the workflow if needed, or use existing data if you are calibrating post-acquisition, which is what we are doing in this example. You should ensure that loops are being correctly detected using the detector settings dialog. Here we are adjusting to make sure our end systolic and end diastolic are being correctly detected. You can use the Calibrate drop-down to select a combination of end systolic, end diastolic, or stroke volume that are provided by your echocardiogram software. Make a selection of calibration data in the volume channel and click the calibration button in the workflow. The software will analyze the pressure volume loops in your selection and calculate the appropriate value from the data. Enter the corresponding known volume value from your echocardiogram and change the units if needed. You can now do the same for the second parameter. Click the Apply checkbox to enable the calibration. You can see the calibration has been applied to the volume channel in lab chart and the view windows are updated. In this example, we're handling existing data post-acquisition, so we'll mark the sampling step as complete. In the chart view, select the data you want to analyze for pressure volume loops. Open the Analyze step and click the button to analyze your data selection. The view windows update to show the results of the PV loop analysis. You can find out more about pressure volume analysis and the new echo volume fit feature by visiting the PV loop help in LabChart. Thanks for watching.